today was the first day of Microsoft Ignite 2021. And towards the end of the opening keynote, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, announced what we all kind of knew was coming, if you look closely. They announced Cloud PC, or what they chose to call it, Windows 365. So let's talk about it. As I said in the intro, today being the first day of Microsoft Ignite 2021, we got a look at Cloud PC or Windows 365 is what they chose to call it. So the first question I had in my head is what exactly was it? So what Windows 365 is, is a way for businesses, enterprises, governments, and you name it, to assign cloud PCs, note that name, to their workforce in order for them to access those cloud PCs anywhere, whether it's on their web browser or on their remote desktop app on their chosen platform. And the other thing I wanted to know about this whole service was how is the performance? So just like when I talked about this whole, the leak in during November timeframe of last year, uh, the service has different tiers of performance of the PCs, the cloud PCs. And it starts with one virtual core all the way up to, as far as I saw in the Microsoft Mechanics video, up to eight cores to assign to a individual. And it also seems to start with 64 gigabytes of storage all the way up so far to 512, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more. It's probably gonna go much further than that in terms of gigabytes of storage. And also when it comes to the RAM, it looks to start at roughly about two gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure if that's gonna be taking coming in in August when it comes out, but it looks to start at two gigabytes of RAM. And so far it looks like it goes up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So, so far it's pretty, it's, it's kind of like a mid-range setup in terms of the amount of storage, RAM, and uh, you know CPU that you get out of it. Uh, and then my other question that I had about it was, how do you deploy it? So I'm not an IT manager, I'll tell you that right now, but how you deploy it, according to the Microsoft Mechanics video, it says here, uh, going to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'm sure if you are trying to use this, you probably already have Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Uh, it says, then you select on an active user and then you then assign them a license, much like how you would sign them a license to say Office or anything else on their Intune and all that stuff. And you'll see Windows 365 65 there if you have uh, signed up for that subscription service for your business. So it's the same way that you will give your users access to it uh, like they have it for office and all that stuff like I just said. So the other part too was how to maintain it. So you go into your endpoint manager and in there you can go into your devices and you can see a new area. Uh, called Windows 365 and then you'll be able to manage all those devices and even you'll be able to swap uh, if there say a user starts off running it with the two gigabytes of RAM uh, spec if they if you know you can notice in the monitor activity monitor that hey these people it seems like they need more performance and all that stuff so you can easily bump them up to the next spec or whatever spec they choose or you choose uh, on the fly so it's pretty straightforward with that and then also it looks like the nice thing with this whole service is that uh, you can pick up where you left off like I said in the beginning uh, you can use it on variety of devices you can use it on your web browser you can also use it on those native applications for remote desktop so any of those ways you want to access it you have access to it um, and it, you pick up right where you left off they did an example with excel they changed a uh, chemical to a gold symbol and it picked up that gold symbol on excel uh, on the other device that they picked it up the cloud pc uh, on so it seems pretty decent so far and i guess my final question with this whole thing is we've heard about the memory we've heard about the storage uh we've heard about the cpu but my other question is what about the gpu because certain tasks require more gpu intensive needs and so my question for it is what gpu or what kind of gpu are they going for with this if someone has an answer to that let me know in the comment section below or send me an email nextgenwindows at gmail.com just curious about that whole stuff if i find any more news about this whole windows 365 i'll let you guys know in a video or maybe a community post or on twitter even uh, and then the final thing before i go to gain access to it um one it comes out on august 2nd and you it's going to be a subscription service just like all the other things out there and 
two, the other thing is uh, to gain access to the kind of internet connection you need, because this is an internet-based service, a cloud-based service. They said that on average, the connection for most people in the US at least, or most people is about 20 megabits per second. Um, and they said that that thing worked super fine with on 20 megabits per second. There wasn't much latency. So we'll see about that. You know me, I'm gonna test it out, even if I don't test it out too deeply. So stay tuned for that. It comes out August 2nd. Hopefully there's a free trial for it because I would love to try it out and see how it works. And the most important thing is how it games because yes, it's not meant for that, but I still want to find out how it games. So we'll see all that stuff in the future. Stay tuned for more. My name is Kwaku and thanks for watching everybody.